What is going on guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure. So in the last video I hid a hidden message in the video and whoever found that message they will win the reel. Well I thought I made that really easy to find but apparently I didn't and it took about two hours for someone to finally find this hidden message and it was my boy Retro. So uh shout out to him but the hidden message was throw me a freaking bone here which is a Dr. Evil quote. Dr. Evil, Awesome Powers, one of my favorite movies especially gold member it is so funny throw me a freaking bone here so i threw that quote in around three minutes and 56 seconds it is right here so yeah there it is that is the reveal of the hidden message a lot of y'all couldn't find it which i'm happy about but that was really fun uh shout out to retro once again for winning the reel i will ship that out to you tomorrow but uh here's the video guys i hope you all enjoy are we stuck that's what i was thinking that's no, fair oh a big oh my god <laughs> there, don't 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 Okay. Stop. I'm not doing anything. Sarah. What's up? Both flip, both flip, both flip it. Oh my god. Look at those big eyes. Sarah, that is a monster walleye. Check out that catfish. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Alright, so I'm out here on the boat fishing with my sister. We just dropped the minnow down and instantly got a bite. So. We also just saw a seagull drop down right here close to the boat and pick up a piece of bait. So we are surrounded by bait and we're already getting instant bites. So it's going to be a good day of fishing, hopefully. Let's get a new minnow on for her, drop it back down. So you did you feel the tug? Like it felt like it was like stuck on a tree. Oh, so maybe it's stuck? Well, that's what I thought. Well, it, then whenever, and then it it like pulled yeah I, I saw it pull so I, i'm pretty sure it was a fish yeah so drop it back down let it hit bottom and then reel up maybe one or one and a half turns hopefully we can get on a bunch of fish i'm back in the spot where i caught a ton of fish back to back the other day so we should be all right it's pretty windy right now about 17 miles per hour but it's going to slow down in the next hour or so and it should be pretty calm for the rest of the day Okay, go ahead and drop them all back down to the bottom. Okay. Hit bottom and then reel up maybe one and a half times. Adam, do you see this one? That's a fish. Grab it, you're good. You set it? Yep, there you go. Sorry. Is that the drag? All right. I don't know. It's a fish. Are we, are we stuck? That's what I was thinking. No, it's fish. Oh, a big. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Okay. Stop. I'm not doing anything. Sarah. What's up? Both flip, both flip, both flip it. Oh, my God. Look at those big eyes. Sarah, that is a monster walleye. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh, my God, Sarah. First fish is okay? it's been really slow in this spot. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? All right, let's measure it. I don't think I have a tape measure. Actually, I do. Guys, this is... <laughs> Y'all have seen all the small walleye I've been catching. This is a monster. Holy crap. Huh? We don't have to if you don't want to. Do you want to? I don't know. We can throw them back if you what want. You I'm just going to measure them. I haven't had no plans, just fishing with you. Okay. Want to eat some walleye? Make some nuggets? <laughs> well, I didn't know if you were like catching to catch or to, to catching and letting go. I didn't have any plans to keep them. Let's measure it real quick. So we've been catching about maybe 15 inches, like really small, no keepers. This one, let's close its tail. That one's about 21 and three quarters. Hey, buddy. So, like I said, this is the size we've been catching. Really small, really skinny. This guy is huge and fat. Good. All right, guys, check out this walleye my sister just caught. 21 and 3 quarter inch walleye. Absolute beast. This thing is huge. <sighs> Congratulations, Sarah. This is awesome. First fish of the day. Man, like I said, we've been catching like 15 inches. Very, very small, skinny fish. And first fish she pulls up in, what, over a year maybe? Yeah, in over a year is this giant walleye. We're gonna, we're not sure if we wanna keep this guy yet, but we're gonna put him in the live well for now. 
and then we'll decide later on what we want to do once again Sarah this is a freaking awesome fish holy crap biggest walleye on the boat so far we need got we got to put more water in there just for this big guy well we're about to move spots what do you want to do you want to move or try again here we just caught a big one let's stay for about 20 more minutes if the bite is super slow we'll move on to the next spot i've not seen that fish that big out here in like two years personally there have been bigger wall i pulled out but not by me or anyone i'm fishing with god you had me so scared i saw how big it was and like you just kept it out of the water i was like trying to grab it so quick i was like please don't break off please don't break off <laughs> oh man yeah, I was like, boat flip it. What is a boat flip? <laughs> so like I said, this spot is very slow right now. But we did just catch a big one. So we'll take quality over quantity right now. We're going to fish here for about 20 more minutes. And then we're going to move to a different spot that has more quantity. More bites, more fish. But not bad for the very first fish of the day. All right, we're all set up. What are going to name him? What do you want to name him? Do you want to release it later or keep it? That's whatever you want to do. We'll keep it, because that's the big one. I want to see how big the fillets are on that guy. Okay. We'll go home and make some walleye nuggets. His name's Walter. Walter? Walter Nuggets. Walter Nuggets. That's his name. That <laughs> oh, was fun. That was fun? <laughs> I wish I could have felt that thing tug. I literally felt like it was stuck. And then the way that the <laughs> thing was like bending, I was like, it's going to break. <laughs> I'm like, this is not a fish. They're Akuma rods, Sarah. They're strong. Oh, that's actually on an ultralight. So yeah, I bet wow. it, I bet it felt pretty awesome. Oh, mm. <laughs> she caught that beast on the freaking ultralight. That is awesome. So here is the rod she caught that fish on. This is a Okuma Salalo six foot six inch ultralight rod. <laughs> oh, I bet that was so fun. Even on this 500 size reel, super small ultralight setup, and she caught a 21 inch walleye. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I mean, but I'm also happy it was you. You caught it too. No, no, that was all you. What are you talking about? I wouldn't have gone in the boat. But <laughs> you did. I mean, maybe. I, don't, I guess I did pull the line into the boat, huh? Yeah. But I would have thought it was a tree and just let it go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm stuck and just leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right. What a way to start the freaking day. But this spot is horrible today. So we're going to move to a new spot. I got a bite. Hold this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's my first one. Okay, we're in a good spot, Sarah. Okay. You have your man now? Crappie. We'll take this guy home too. We'll have a one nice walleye and a crappie. I'm pretty sure it's 10, but we'll measure it. Oh, yeah. 11 and a half. You got friend, All right, Sarah. Both our first fish were keepers. Doing good. Next one's yours. If it's a huge wall again, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you off the boat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The water's way too cold for that. <laughs> just kidding. I'd be freaking stoked if you caught another big one. Wait, and here's the other thing. Like, I don't do this enough to like even appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, you're like, whatever. Why are you freaking out over this little guy? It's a fish, dude. Two years of catching small ones, they'll, they'll teach her real quick. We should catch them like that all the time. Really? Yeah, but this lake is just overfished. Adam, that one's like bending. There's one. <gasps> yeah, buddy. Another crappie, dude. Crappie is killing it right here. That was a good. Oh, it's peeing. It's peeing. Stop peeing. <laughs> it peed all over me in the boat. Do you mind? Dude, that's a good size. We'll keep another crappie. Yeah, buddy. Fish number three for the day. You already got the bite. Yep. Fish on. Dang. All right. So we are back at the first spot where Sarah caught the big walleye. The wind. Hey, check that pole back there. It might be, yeah, it might be stuck or something. But we're back at the first spot. The wind died down a little bit. Boats are flying by though. So the waves are a little bad right now, but... 
it's definitely not as bad as it was earlier so should be easier fishing there's the first fish small little crappie we'll throw this guy back but we just dropped down hopefully we can get on some more fish i was hoping it would be back-to-back -back bites today but it's not pretty tough maybe sarah's bad luck <laughs> just kidding can't be when you catch the first big one right hey sarah get this pole Hurry, right, quick. This fish, it has a fish. Wait, wait. Yeah, go ahead and set it. <laughs> it's definitely a wall. Both of them. This is another decent one. Get it over here. Ah, hurry. That uh, hit me in the hook. Okay, get, get set it down. Sorry. Chill, brother. <laughs> uh, another decent one. so much red. That guy's bleeding. Why? Oh, he swallowed the crap out of it. Hey, get me um, pliers from here. We just need to get ready to leave every time and you'll catch one. All right, fish number two for Sarah. Another decent walleye. Going in the live well. There you go, Walter, you got a friend. Walter Nuggets. <laughs> That's a pretty morbid name, Sarah. I mean, <laughs> That is true. We're gonna go home and make some nuggets out of water. And we'll go to a new spot. This spot's slow today. All right, fish on. Spot number three, finally producing another crappie. I say finally, you've been here for like, what, two minutes maybe? Yeah. Poles dropped in the water. Yeah. We have a pontoon over here playing music, trying to be cool for the whole lake to hear him. He keeps losing phone service though, so it doesn't sound very cool. Thank you, little buddy. Little crappie. I just got hit, so this might be a good spot. It might be on. Here, hold this. If you feel a tug, set the hook and let me know. Go ahead and set it. I think it's on. On? Yep. Oh, it wasn't even on. It was on the surface. What the heck? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Spot number four. Maybe better. It's gonna be a filet right there, bro. Heck yeah. She's still kicking. <laughs> yeah, bro. First fish she pulls up is this beast. <laughs> Haven't seen one of those in. A year and a half? Two. Two years? <laughs> yeah. Freaking crazy, dude. I didn't even know this, guys, but we caught a black crappie. It has been a while since we've seen a black one as well. That's the second walleye we caught. But it was a decent God, size. A... She's Whoa. fat, dude. She's girthy. Could you imagine a ah! I know, bro. It'd be big fish. We just went to the house, dropped out the boat, dropped out those fish. I got those fish on some ice. We will be cooking those fish up later and making some walleye and crappie nuggets but i'm super stoked man my sister caught the biggest walleye the biggest walleye i've seen from this local lake in over two years we've been catching 15s 16s if we're lucky not very many 16s we had a walleye tournament two three days ago and the biggest walleye that they caught from this tournament all day long was 17 inches so my sister went out there for the first time in over a year of fishing and caught a 21 and three quarter inch walleye. Freaking awesome. I'm happy for her, but also pretty jealous. <laughs> but pretty awesome day of fishing. We're about to head down to the docks, me and Devin. Devin had to come over and check out the walleye because he hasn't seen a walleye that big either in a while. So he came over, checked it out. We put him on ice and now we're heading back to the docks to go do some dock fishing. Let's go down there and hopefully catch some fish. Nope, that's a fish. Yeah, buddy. Can't, too excited. Can't calm down. Dude, I can't imagine how that felt with this rod. Oh. Walleye, no big deal. You lost one? Missed him. Dang it, Devin. Too busy setting that pole. Hey. 
So me and Devin fished for two hours and only caught one fish. Well, Devin, we suck. Well, at least your sister made this video. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's I know it freaking hurts, but it's so good. I can't go back to normal corn now. Really? Because of this. Yeah, it's too boring without it. All right, boys, there is our lunch for today. We got some corn on the cob and some deep fried walleye and crappie nuggets. Let's go ahead and dig in. Got some ranch here. Amazing. Mm. This is my absolute favorite. If you guys ever had a crawfish boil that had corn in it, you know what this is. This is heaven right here and uh, my absolute favorite. Mm. Got some butter on there as well, man. So I'm going to continue to eat this. It is amazing. But earlier in this video, you heard Devin say, at least my sister made the video. And uh, every time we fish together, one of us outfishes the other person and we always say that person made the video because they're in the video more. And uh, my sister definitely made this video. She caught the biggest walleye, which is this big chunk fat piece right here. Freaking amazing. This is a uh, Walter Nuggets right here. <laughs> Walter tastes amazing. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Freaking windy today. I just broke my keto diet for that, but it was that good. I had to. Look at that. Freaking amazing. But guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Ah!